In today's video, I'm going to show you a cool Fuji autofocus hack that I use in my portrait photography all the time. What's up everyone, thanks for joining me as always. One of the great things about Fuji cameras is how customizable the buttons are. You can map almost every button on the camera and every dial to control a variety of features in the camera. And I've utilized some of these custom settings to make it fast and easy to use face detect and eye detect autofocus. Now before I show you how I've done this, I wanna give a shout out to my friend Chris from pal to tech who was my inspiration for making this video. I joined Chris Chris for his live stream recently, which was awesome and you should check it out. And this topic of AF and settings came up. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for my bonus Fuji autofocus tip. Okay, so what we wanna do is map two buttons in our camera, one to control face detect and one to let you manually select which eye is focused on. Now you can use whichever buttons you like, but I will show you exactly how I have my camera set up. Press and hold the display back button on the back of your camera. After holding it for a second or two, the camera's custom button menu will pop up. And this menu will allow you to choose what happens when you press each button on your camera. At the top of this page, you're gonna see Bluetooth settings. Now scroll down once and you'll highlight the small custom button on the top plate of the camera just next to the shutter button. Click to the right to access this menu and scroll to the option that says face detection on off and then hit OK. Now we want to scroll down the custom menu until we reach the AEL button. Click to the right and scroll to the option that says right slash left eye switch and then press OK. That's it. Now exit the menu and you're ready to go. And remember that you can map any buttons you prefer for these two options, but the important thing is that you set one for face detection on off and another for right eye, left eye switch. So here's what this hack has done. First, you now have a dedicated button on your camera to turn on and off face detect. And this is something that I use literally all the time. Here's why. If you're taking a portrait of a single person, having face detect on is of course a great feature, but there are times when you need to shut it off. If you're taking a variety of subjects, for instance, where you might go from photographing people to objects, one frame to the next, then you're gonna to wanna to be able to quickly shut the face detect off because sometimes it's gonna find false faces in your image. Additionally, there are times when photographing groups that the camera will focus on a face that you don't want it to detect and it's easier just to shut it off and use a focus point manually setting it instead of trying to scroll through the faces that you want in focus, but more on that little feature later. Putting aside the reasons why you want to shut off face detect, let's talk about the focus of this video, which is using face detect for portraits, which is the whole point of today. Remember how we map the AEL button to turn on and off eye select? Well, check out what happens now that we've mapped the eye control function to the AEL button on the back of the camera. You can now switch between the left and the right eye by simply pressing that button. And this is an awesome feature I use all the time. And it's so much better than letting the camera decide which eye to focus on or just locking on one eye. And here's why. You always want the eye that's closest to the film plane, or in this case, the sensor to be in sharp focus. And now you can easily pick which eye the camera focuses on with the simple press of one button. This comes in so handy when you are moving around your subject or when your subject is moving around in your studio or on location. And they're angling their head in different positions because you can instantly switch to the eye that's closer to you on the fly without letting the camera try and make that decision for you. And there you have it. You now know my favorite Fuji AF hack for autofocus in portraits. One disclaimer though, some Fuji cameras do not let you map the eye in the custom buttons, but hopefully yours does. Okay, if you made it this far, now you get my bonus tip. First, make sure that the AF switch on the front of your camera is set to S for single. Next, in the AF-MF menu, select focus area and set it to wide. 
This setting will ensure that the camera uses the entire frame for autofocusing. But the cool thing is that when you set it to this setting and you're photographing a group of people, you can now simply use the AF joystick by switching to the left or the right, and it will scroll from one face to the next. So now you have control not over only which eye the camera focuses on, but easily which face it focuses on. And this is another super useful feature. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this quick video to be helpful. Please let me know if these hacks improve your photography and if you have any other cool hacks for your Fuji camera. Before I wrap up, I do want to mention my new coaching group for photographers, which is linked in the description below. If you want to learn how to take amazing headshots and portraits, check out my group and make sure if you do, you use the promo code COCO2024 for a discount that will last you all year long. Don't forget to check out my gear page at b &H Photo and please subscribe and hit that like button because it really does go an incredibly long way to help me grow the channel. Here's wishing you an awesome day, everyone. Go on, take some incredible pictures today and I will see you in the next one. Peace.